Hey guys, welcome to the Rambler channel. I'm Alan the Rambler. I'm out here at Canyon Ferry Lake, just outside of Helena, Montana. Now, I'm not really a fisherman, but I'm told you can catch trout and walleye here that are pretty big. I was talking to this gentleman a little bit ago. He was telling me that uh, they always come out here walleye fishing and they end up catching a couple sneaky trout, as he put it. <laughs> Throw in a line looking for a walleye and pull a trout out. But he's telling me that it freezes in the winter. Uh, come summer, or spring rather, you come out here as soon as the ice is starting to melt. And you can go 10 for 10 on your casts. You throw your line in and pull the fish out every time. So that seems pretty cool for those of you that fish. <laughs> so it looks... The lake is pretty low right now, but it is still early in the season. We haven't gotten any of the, too much of the spring rains or anything like that. Uh, so you can see it's pretty low. So it is a reservoir. There is a dam just around the corner behind me. But I'm just going to kind of walk along the shoreline here and just see what it looks like. It was raining a little this morning, just real light rain. And it's still a little bit chilly some some wind not a lot but I was hoping to uh, kind of scout it out and see if this might be a good place to get my paddleboard wet for the first time hopefully later on you'll see a video of me falling off of that into the lake <laughs> I will definitely be sure to post it if that happens <laughs> so I'm in a low spot here you kind of saw when I was shooting the video from over there. Definitely has water in here. I think during the high season, obviously there's none right now, but it's left some pretty cool terrain features. There's not an app for this. You have to actually go out and find these. <laughs> or, or watch my videos on YouTube, I guess, but not as cool as being here in real life. This little lagoon that I've stumbled into definitely accentuates how much lower the lake is than usual. You can see up here some boat docks and a walkway of some sort probably going out to the boat dock. It is no longer in the water. Now, a lot of times reservoirs, they do run a little low during the winter because they're used to give water to the city. And Helena's not big. It's only about 35, 37,000 people, but it's enough to use up some water out of the reservoir. So you can see here the different levels it's been at. There's some ridges working its way down. And I've seen quite a few of these... Uh, trees that have fallen in although from the looks of it this one's not even really dead yet so it fell recently I guess you can see where at one point it was in the water and it got growth on it I, I realized that a lot of this lake is quiet because of what's going on and so that's terrible, really. But at the same time, it's really nice to be out here and just kind of be alone, be able to enjoy the lake and see everything. Same thing when we were up in the state land up there. Trails everywhere. And you can definitely tell that people use the trails. Just not right now. So we are able to just kind of enjoy it. Las Vegas. You saw the video that there's nobody in Las Vegas. So we got to have Vegas to ourselves if you will not much of Vegas the strip and whatnot because everything was closed even the restrooms but it is kind of cool to be able to be out here and not have to worry about tripping over people or interrupting somebody's picnic or anything like that even though the reason for it being empty is a unfortunate event I'm sure you'll forgive me for taking advantage of it. <laughs> so 
So I started from the other side of those trees and I thought I'll just walk over to that point. I knew it was going to be a lot of little legs and stuff I'd have to walk through to get there. But as it turns out, there are a lot of like actually big legs. There's another one that's back there. <laughs> And then this one that I'm kind of starting to go into here. So I'm going to turn around and head back towards the truck. I've been out here for a little over two hours. So I'm going to head back towards my truck and see what I can see over there. And possibly go to the other side or drive farther on down the lake and see if I can shoot some more video for you. So I don't know how well you can see this. This is two geese and like eight goslings. And no, I don't think any of them are named Ryan. That's just cool. So, been out here walking around for oh, three and a half hours now, I guess. So I'm kind of right back in my truck, just, just right around the corner. And I want to tell you, I'm pretty disappointed. Let me tell you why. I found probably 14 plastic bottles, aluminum cans, strewn around here. Now I'm not an environmentalist, an eco-warrior, whatever. But I've been to some countries that are really quite beautiful. But the mindset is, just throw it. And it's really destroyed the country. It's made it look awful. You guys don't throw stuff out in your backyard and just dump it, right? You put it in the trash. And I don't care if you recycle, if you reuse, if you compost, whatever. Just put it where it belongs. Don't leave it on the beach for somebody else to find or kick or whatever. It's it's beautiful out here. This is, this is just... It's amazing, and it's quiet, and it's peaceful, and it's relaxing. And then you stumble on somebody's garbage, and it just, it ticks me off. So anyway, that was enough of that rant. I really like it here. I really do. This is... Every time I come to Montana, I know I said this in the last video and I'm going to say it a few more times. I'm, I apologize. It's just, wow. I love it. I, I really, really love it here. Cameras don't do justice. Even if you have big expensive ones, you can get colors to pop a little bit better and things like these peaks way out here. You can see better with a more expensive camera. But getting the concept of the vastness is, is challenging on a camera. It really is. <clears throat> this, this lake is enormous and... Like I said, it's beautiful, very beautiful. I do recognize how blessed I am to have the job that I have and be able to come and do things like this, be able to travel and frankly get paid for it, in all honesty, to, to be on vacation. Um, like I said in, in my very first video, I'm an aircraft mechanic. Aviation is something I love. It's something I'm very passionate about. 
So it's almost not even work for me. It, I, I enjoy what I do. I'm good at it. Obviously, there's a human aspect, just like the guys who throw their trash out on the beach. You do have to work with some people sometimes that aren't the most pleasant to deal with. But at the end of the day, you put your tools away, you get in your truck, you drive out here, you see this. When I was in Germany, I'd go to this town called Rotenburg that wasn't too far away. I highly recommend that you at least Google that and look at the pictures of that city. Um, and I am, honestly, I'm, I'm going to go through my pictures eventually and put together a video of what I did in Germany. I swear. When? I don't know. But <laughs> I, I need to do it. It's just, oh man, I had such a good time there. I really did. I look forward to going back someday, either as a tourist or get a job there again. Uh, it was it was incredible. I really enjoyed all of my experiences that I've had, and I look forward to having many, many more of them. My goal is to be able to share them with you guys and show you kind of this. <clears throat> I, I could probably take some pictures and stuff at work, but you don't want to see that. It's just helicopters taken apart. It, This stuff, though, yeah, this is why I agree to do a road team. Living in a hotel is not fun. Living in a truck is not fun. Seeing this stuff. We'll be here for a couple weeks, so I'll get to see a lot of Montana. And then from here, I don't know where we're going yet. Um, but I, I know it's going to be another adventure, and it's going to be cool, and I'm going to enjoy it. And I'm rambling again. I, I know. It's exciting being here. It's exciting being able to do this and see this stuff. Just some more of this view. I've just been sitting here staring at this for like 20 minutes. It's like a painting that's alive. Better than a tourist film. Better than a promotional video. So this one's been uh, quick and brief. Um, comment down below and tell me what you guys like. I, I usually have, by the time I get done and start cutting footage, I usually have like, shoot, yesterday we had six hours of footage that I cut down to a 16 minute video to post. So let me know if you like the time lapse traveling cross country, if you like kind of the more narrative stuff, if you like the combination of the boat, the two of them. Sorry, I'm still distracted by the view. <laughs> uh, it's just, ah, I can't say it enough. I just love being out and being able to do this stuff. It's great. But anyway, don't forget to like, subscribe, share with all your friends and family. And uh, again, like I said, comment down below and tell me kind of what you like the, the, the best. If it's the time lapse of a combination, if you want to see other things. I'm going to try and get some better cameras and uh, maybe some chest packs or something like that for when I go on these hikes. I can give you some time lapse better of the, the hikes and the trails and stuff that I'm going on. And we are trying to locate myself and one of the other guys I'm here with. We're trying to locate somebody to rent us some ATVs and get back in the, the backwoods a little bit more and get some cool footage of that and, and uh, possibly maybe some fishing. We will see. So anyway, thanks again for joining me guys and I uh, hope to see you next time.